First Alert Storm Team forecast. Well, today, a lot of extra cloud cover. We've been noticing a lot of that throughout the course, really the last couple of days. Most of these mid and high level clouds not really disrupting you too much. We are still under the influence of surface high pressure ruling into the upstate of South Carolina. That's bringing our wind flow out of the east. Now up to our west, we got some rain developing. Eventually, this will become a big weather maker that we'll have to watch by Christmas. Mid and high level moisture indicated here in the water vapor imagery that will result in more of those high clouds. That's what we're seeing outside when we're looking off to the north and west from our studio cam. Still some very packed parking lots out there at the shops at Bel Air. A lot of holiday shopping, a lot of last minute shopping going on here. Expect that to only get worse in the coming days. 58 degrees for your current temperature. Winds are calm up in Atmore at the Wind Creek. Nice view over Escambia County, Alabama this evening and down to Fort Walton Beach. We go along Highway 98. Sun has set. We're going to be left with some of those scattered clouds, but no rain tonight. No rain tomorrow. You can leave your Green and Phillips umbrella at home as we time it out for you this evening by 9 p.m. around 51 degrees 7 a.m. tomorrow scatter clouds around 49 and then we'll take you towards tomorrow afternoon. We will see the, some of those extra clouds again. Overall, though, should be another relatively quiet weather day as temperatures should climb back again into the middle and upper 60s. Right now we've cooled down to 54 degrees in Monroeville, Alabama, 57 for Atmore and Calvert Chatham as well. 60 in Grand Bay Gulf Shores also checking in at 57 and 59 for both Navarre and Destin this evening. Winds are nearly calm for many locations where we do have a breeze. It's generally less than five miles per hour, just a touch stronger along the coast. As our predictor maintains mostly quiet weather, a lot of those mid and high level clouds continuing to work through the region tonight and into tomorrow as well. Notice again, we may get a bit of sunshine here for the afternoon hours tomorrow, a bit more sun than what we saw today. And then going into Saturday, mostly quiet again. Nice quiet start there to your holiday weekend. As we get a bit more of a southeasterly wind flow, that will be in advance of our next rainmaker. For the 68 Ventures Bowl, heading out to Hancock Whitney Stadium there tomorrow uh, for your Saturday kickoff time around uh, 63 degrees. We'll see quiet weather through the entire game as we welcome the folks from eastern uh, Michigan to town. Now looking ahead to that next rainmaker coming in for Christmas, Sunday, Christmas Eve, cloudy through the day, rain moving in afternoon. It will be a wet second half of the day and into your Christmas night as well, where we could see some period of heavier rain, maybe one or two thunderstorms as well. Morning showers will linger for Christmas Day and then we quickly dry things out. In fact, the second half of the day looking much, much drier than we were anticipating. Bottom line, though, we do have our uh, some areas could pick up maybe one to two inches of rain through the holiday weekend and into the holiday itself on uh, Christmas Day. Rain chance at 70%. That chance of rain drops off and we get back to some cooler air by the time we head towards the middle of next week.